Good evening, everyone, and welcome to day number 460 of our continuing updates on the war in Ukraine and our work and efforts to support not only the Ukrainians, but truth and freedom worldwide. Today, you can see the video in different format. You do not need to adjust your television. I'm filming in black and white tonight in honor, thanking Memorial Day here in the United States. I know we have many international viewers, but today is a holiday in the United States, it is Memorial Day where we celebrate, we remember, we pay tribute, we pay honor to those that have given their lives for freedom, for our freedom. Today, the very same thing is happening in Ukraine as many Ukrainian soldiers and even civilians are dying every day in support of the same freedom that we hold and maybe wherever you're at and watching, you hold um, very dear to your heart. So, happy Memorial Day. No need to adjust your device there, or television. We're in black and white, and you can see the flag. I think today specifically about my grandfather, who was a World War II and uh, Korean War Navy veteran. He was actually also um, a participant there in the famous Bay of Pigs crisis, Cuban Missile Crisis there during the Cold War with the Soviet Union. He's actually one of the guys standing on one of the destroyers there when the Russian sub surfaced. So I know that you as well have family members and friends that you pay tribute tonight to, and that's why we're in black and white, and I have the American flags right there. So thank you guys for um, all of your support. We're going to jump in. Very specific update tonight. will not be too long because it is a holiday. We are spending time with family, as I'm sure you are as well, and friends. But Massive day in Ukraine today with airstrikes. Additionally, <sighs> President Zelensky once again coming out and proving that he is an incredible leader. And he makes a statement to Americans today. So that's where we're going to begin. We're going to say happy Memorial Day to you guys. We remember and honor. And tonight, with a special Memorial Day message coming directly from Kiev, Ukraine, in between missiles raining down. We have President Volodymyr Zelensky giving a greeting to Americans. Here it is on Memorial Day, President Zelensky. On behalf of all Ukrainians, I would like to honor the courage and self-sacrifice of all Americans who stood in defense and keep defending the freedom. Your freedom stood thanks to those who fought for it. Our freedom will stand thanks to those who are fighting for it. The freedom is underpinned by the bravery of the best of the air kind and by the readiness of young men and women who serve their nation in the military to become the best of their kind and make their bravery the basis for the future of their nation. When we remember the warriors who sacrificed their lives in the name of freedom, we recall the reason why we are alive, why we live the way we like, and why our free nations stand. It is our duty to teach children that freedom cannot be taken for granted. It is our duty to teach them to be grateful. It is our duty to acknowledge each and every who dedicated their lives to defend the freedom the noble and free banner of their country and people. It is our duty to remember what price was paid to keep the light of freedom, despite all dark times that came down. We, Ukrainians, will always be grateful to the U.S. and every American for an extraordinary support which helps us confine the Russian tyranny to the losers those who lost to the freedom. My special gratitude on this Memorial Day goes to all Americans of different times, sons and daughters, fathers and mothers, brothers and sisters who became the warriors and whose strengths turned into the strengths of freedom and who were destined to show to the world that freedom will always 
shine bright on the hill. Let our victory of the Ukrainian warriors make this light shine brighter. God bless America. Slava Ukraini. What can you say other than wow? Thank you, President Volodymyr Zelensky, for <laughs> delivering. That makes me want to stand up and sing the national anthem and declare the Pledge of Allegiance to our flag. Thank you, President Zelensky. I hope that gives you guys that are watching insight and character into this man and into this nation that we support at such a high level. I've been pounding the table since day one. They're not Nazis. They're fascists. I've given 26 years of my life to the nation of Ukraine. I know Ukrainians. And um, that is a great representation of the Ukrainian spirit. And today we're very thankful for a world leader like Vladimir Zelensky, who would make those powerful statements on our holiday and on our Memorial Day. I can tell you additionally on the inside that they have their celebratory days, but this Memorial Day holiday, they are going to be adapting Ukrainians, that is, for the future where they also will celebrate the sacrifices of those that have given their lives. Now, specifically speaking about that, the largest scale air attack on Kyiv and other regions happened over the last 24 hours. Not only drones and Shahids, but also Iskander missiles, um, cruise missiles. Some had payloads, some did not. There were strikes throughout Kyiv. The air defense took them out, but there were still deflections and hits, loss of life, damage to buildings. I have some video I'm going to show you. There was a strike in Jatomer on an infrastructure facility that hit. It was successful um, in taking out some critical infrastructure. Additionally, an airport in Khmelnytsky, our home city, hit. Five airplanes taken out, damage to the runway. Um, they're already working on getting that repaired. So it's um, it's been a very tough and difficult 24 hours. And for the next few minutes, I'm going to share some insight into that and let you come inside Ukraine for a few moments with some video. Now, most of the large-scale missile attacks that rained down on Kiev through the night and through the morning hours today, when kids were going to school, and I'm going to show you that, came from the Bryansk region of Russia, um, Iskander M rockets, they were fired at Kyiv today. These missiles have a range of about 500 kilometers. A couple of things I show you here just to pay tribute to the defense forces there and those patriots and those IRA systems and the other systems that are now trying to help protect the skies over Ukraine. The speed of the rocket once it is fired from Russia or other places such as Belarus or the sea, these particular missiles have a uh, speed of 2.1 kilometers per second. Think about that. 2.1 kilometers per second. Um, what that means is Ukraine only had four minutes to recognize they were in the air, prepare for the defense, and fire. Today, the defense, air defenses, four minutes once they're launched from that Bryansk region until Ukraine was having to defend their skies. Now, with that happening, I want to take you inside um, of Ukraine for a little bit. Here's some video today of this massive strike. This massive strike, here is... Uh, a look down on the streets. We're going to have a couple of angles of this, so check this piece out first. You can see the kids running on the sidewalks. This was immediately after the strike. One of the strikes. Of course, you can see daylight hours. Kids are in school. That's exactly what Kiev looks like. You can hear the children. I'm going to show you more of that in just a moment. Now, additionally with that, one thing that we have tried to share is even though Ukraine is having a very good success rate in taking these rockets and missiles and Shahids out of the air, there is still deflectionary hits 
As I stated earlier in the update, not every missile flying has a warhead on it. What's that telling us? It's telling us that Russia is trying to deplete the Ukrainian air defenses as much as possible without wasting their warheads. So their supply could be a little low. Additionally, they're trying to deplete Ukraine's supply. So these missiles flying, they can be taken out but they still come down to the earth. Here is some security camera footage showing cars in the street. This is only about six seconds, but you will see a deflectionary piece of the missile hit the ground right during traffic. I'll probably play this a couple times for you because it's kind of quick. Watch right in the center of the screen. Boom, right there. I will um, run that back. You can see that's today. Here we go, May 29th, 10 a.m. Watch the center. Traffic's just moving. Got on a bicycle, and boom. Uh, let's see if I can get it right on the frame here. Yeah, right there. It landed right in front of that car. And these are the things that we have to remember. This is what happens. You know, just because they're being shot out of the air doesn't mean that nothing is happening. Now, Let's take a little quicker look at the skit, at the kids on the streets as they were screaming and running today during school. Here is the terrorism dropping on Kiev today. So there you have it. That was the street view of the aerial view I had shown you earlier. Folks, it's every day, 19 strikes during the month on Kiev alone. Um, this war is getting ready to change. I've got an update on that for you in just a moment. Something Zelensky said today. But this war is getting prolonged. We are seeing more airstrikes from Russia behind the lines. They're trying to hit these major cities, hit these infrastructure places. It's gonna be it's gonna be quite a summer. That's what we can say. Now, a guy that I have shown you several times, his name is Anton Gerashenko. He is a spokesman for President Zelensky's office. He also has other administrative uh, duties in the government of Ukraine. He was in the streets today. And uh, when the missiles were striking and the drones were striking, there was a reporter with him. He begins to talk about the defenses. He begins to talk about Kiev. Reporter asks a couple questions. I've got it translated for you. And here it is. This is Anton Gerashenko. Today is the day of the Ukrainian air defense victory over Russia. From what I understand, these were ballistic missiles fired, most likely Iskanders or Kindles. They were shot down at high altitudes by super modern Western air defense missiles that are supplied by our allies. Thanks to our air defense system, today hundreds, maybe thousands of lives of Kyiv residents were saved. It was very loud at night. And now Kyiv is under attack again. How long do you think this will continue? Well, as long as Putin is alive, this will continue. The best way to end the war quickly is to physically destroy Putin. Does Ukraine have such a resource today, or do you know of anything that can be done? I think the Lord God is with us and will hear our prayers. Thank you. Wow, what a powerful statement there from Gerashenko. A, this probably will become a holiday. Of course, he knows it's Memorial Day. And um, in America, Zelensky put the statement out. And, of course, Gerashenko knows. He says, I think today will become a holiday for us, the day of shooting down all the missiles and Air Defense Day. It would not surprise me if it becomes a holiday called Air Defense Day. Who knows? He also says, when will it stop? When Putin is eliminated. That is the truth. That's what we've been sharing from day one. It's not going to end until this regime, this terroristic regime in the Kremlin is gone. 
That's where we're at. It's no different than the days of Saddam Hussein. And a guy named Muammar Gaddafi, it doesn't change until these dictators are gone. So we will um, pay attention to what happens. You know, it's very interesting. The reporter asked him, well, so what can we hope for? What is our um, response? Do we have enough to take care of this? And his answer wasn't first about missiles. It was, I think God is watching and he's going to help us. So, you know, just for those out there that call the Ukraine government and people evil and devils, you're so clueless. You are so clueless. And I'm not going to lower myself on Memorial Day to lay out a case, but they're not devils. They're good people. They're fighting for their land. Um, it's a tragedy. So we will continue with that. Now, today, President Zelensky said something very interesting. Here on the left, we have Zelensky. On the right, we have Putin. Both of these guys today made powerful statements. One directly in regard to the war. The second one, it regards who he called and the conversation that occurred. We'll start with Putin. Putin today called Turkey's president Erdogan to congratulate him, much like Zelensky did yesterday, or he put out a tweet. But Putin and Erdogan actually communicated on a phone call. They, it turned into a fairly lengthy call where Putin was congratulating him and thanking him for the relationship with Turkey. And their goal was to grow it over the remainder of this year and to become stronger friends and work together on global initiatives. To which Erdogan replied, thank you. We do consider you our friend, although we're not um, standing for what you're doing in this war. You're still our friend. So once again, Erdogan straddling the fence as he does. I told you guys that Erdogan was not the guy we want re to be reelected. We wanted the new president to win the election because he was much more pro-Western views, anti-Kremlin. Erdogan, Humpty Dumpty is back on the wall and Humpty Dumpty is going to have a great fall. That's what happened on the call today between Putin and Erdogan. Now, Zelensky, what did he say? In his evening address, he made one statement. <laughs> Are you ready? Here it is. Today we signed the orders for military movement of our troops. It is imminent. That's it. Today we signed the orders for military movement of our troops. The movement is imminent. People are now, as they should, running with that. Is this the signal that we're going to see? more of a counteroffensive. I believe we are already seeing counteroffensive. Of course, not the level where 500 tanks are rolling and 100 airplanes are in the air and missiles are raining down. They do not have those resources. They do not. Many of the weapons they have received have been defensive, and the offensive weapons they have received, such as the Storm Shadow, the Scalps, I think that's what Ricochet calls them, They've been shooting them, launching them, and they have had a 100% success hit rate showing weakness in the Russian air defenses. So this war is going to continue to escalate, to crank up, and we can tell you today, Putin and Erdogan having a chat, being buddies, Zelensky coming out, greeting America with a very patriotic speech, powerful. And then in his evening address, he said, the order is signed. Our troops are moving. We shall see what happens. Now, speaking about that, we are seeing Wagner troops rotate out in um, the Bakhmut area. Russian forces have moved in. Wagner troops are moving out. This is the logo here for the PMC Wagner group. Some of them are on rest. Some are being rotated to Sedan. These are the guys that basically took Bakhmut for the Russian forces. Um, but I want to share something with you. I, maybe you're here new or not, or you do not remember, but I I told you guys, Zhenya and I have found access to Wagner Communications. 
So we now receive the Wagner communications, all of them. We see what they're talking about, everything. No, I can't tell you how we got that, but we have it. So many times I have shown you videos of Ukrainians at work, the military at work, especially in Patreon. I show a lot of those videos that I can't really show here on YouTube. But tonight I'm going to show you a PMC Wagner video where they're celebrating their work. This is not Ukrainian forces video. This is the Wagner showing how great they are. But I, what I'm, the reason I'm showing it is because I want you to see, yes, there are times they're targeting trenches. They're targeting tanks. But folks, as you watch this video, watch how many times they're just targeting people's homes, destroying them. Here it is, something you're probably not going to see anywhere else Wagner internal video that's their logo Wagner homes being targeted So there you have it, internal video coming out of Wagner. What, what a great celebration. We're blowing up homes. Pure evil. Pure evil. And um, we will continue to share the truth about this evil and madness. Now, for the last thing tonight, I want to bring a little clarification. Um, Senator Lindsey Graham, an American from South Carolina, I believe, has been placed on the arrest list, the most wanted list, out for arrest list from the Kremlin, from Russia, because his words were misconstrued as, um, well, maybe, maybe they were, were not. But regardless, that's not what I really want to talk about. But I do want to show tonight, I have about mm, 45, 50 seconds of an interaction between President Zelensky and also um, Senator Lindsey Graham, and I thought it was good to share on Memorial Day how our senator, forget your parties, folks. I'm not talking about Republican or Democrat. We're just talking about the message Lindsey Graham was giving. It's been good to invest in Ukraine. We stand for freedom. You can hear Zelensky talking back to him, everything in English. Um, here you go. This, this very good, very good, very, very good exchange here. Lindsey Graham this was on Friday, their chat. We know that for, from first days, we have total support. It's about 38 billion, and it's it big, big support, very important. The best money we've ever spent. <laughs> Thank you so much. No, it's, you know, we're on, four, let's see, this is 457th day of a war that was supposed to last three days. You amaze me. Your country amazes me. It's about our people. And about your people. Your people help, help our people, all our appreciation. You just, I mean, you remind me of our better selves in America. That there was a time in America that we were this way. 
fighting to the last person, we're going to be free or die. Free or die. Free or die. Now we are free. Yes. And we will be. And the Russians are dying. Yes. So there you have it. The What upset the Russians were his last statement there, and the Russians are done. Um, but, you know, on Memorial Day, as you guys are probably going to settle in, or if you're watching this from other parts of the country, the world rather, this is why I'm in black and white today, play, paying tribute to those that have given their lives for our country here in the United States on a major holiday for us. Um, but Senator Lindsey Graham, I just put your politics and your partisans aside. That right there was a good message. That was a good message. He said, you know, I'm just amazed at this country. You guys are amazing. And of course, Zelensky being kind back. Well, you've been a good example. You've, you've helped us so much. And Lindsey Graham says it's some of the best money we've spent. Um, and with that, I would agree. And then Lindsey Graham goes on, and I think it's just applicable for this Memorial Day. He says, you know, there was a time in our nation where we were like you are now, fighting for our freedom. There was a time when we were like you. And what we see in you, Ukraine, is like better selves of who we used to be. And President Zelensky, of course, being very kind in his replies. I show that not only uh, specifically today for Memorial Day, but just to show you the interaction. Really, really good stuff there going on between Senator Graham and President Zelensky. And remember, the power of the English language um, that allows him to communicate to those that couldn't. So that's where we're at. And it's, um, it's a good day. It's been a very difficult day, but it's a good day. So we will stand with you strong. We will continue. Let me take a quick peek here. Um, see if there's anything I'm missing right now. Uh, Kosovo and Serbia still kicking it around. Uh, airs are, the air is clear right now. And um, we're looking good. So, my friends, enjoy your family tonight. Enjoy your friends. If you're watching this on a follow-up day on a rebroadcast, today's Memorial Day in the United States, and that's the reason I'm in black and white. Be back in color soon. Now, I remind you, we'll be here for the updates as normal and other updates as necessary. Patreon will continue to roll. I'm getting ready to roll something in there right now. I do leave Wednesday for Africa. I will be in Tanzania for two weeks, but the updates will still be rolling with myself and or Genia or both of us. So thank you for being here. Be blessed and happy Memorial Day to you. We'll see you in 48 hours.